Okay, now let us compare the difference between the in-phase sources and anti-phase sources uh, once again. Okay, first of all, uh, you have two in-phase sources, means uh, the two waves start off with the same direction. Uh, if the wave 1 goes up, the wave 2 also initially goes up. Uh, this is in-phase sources. Uh, anti-phase sources, that means uh, they have opposite direction. Uh, the, the wave start off with opposite direction. If the wave 1 goes up, the wave 2 uh, is going down. Yeah, They start off with the opposite direction, like, uh, like this one. Lah. Uh, you see this, these two? Uh, these two is uh, in-phase sources because both uh, is going up. Uh, these two are in-phase sources. Uh, unlike these two, uh, these two are anti-phase sources because uh, the wave 1 goes up, the wave 2 goes down. Okay, so what's the impact? What's the impact of this? Okay, as you have learned uh, about path difference before, okay, uh, let us look, ag look again about the path difference. Uh, for this, the first one is uh, in-phase sources. Okay, uh, so uh, we have come into conclusion that for the bright fringe, in order to perform a bright fringe, uh, the path difference for both waves uh, is either 0 lambda, 1 lambda, 2 lambda, or 3 lambda. Uh, so the path difference in general for bright fringe is m lambda. Uh, is m lambda. But for, uh, for the dark, to form a dark fringe, okay, to form a dark fringe, um, the path difference uh, need to be m m plus half lambda yeah it's either zero plus half lambda one plus half lambda two plus half lambda or three plus half lambda so uh, okay break for for in phase sources uh, it is a uh, path difference m lambda for dark fringe it is m plus half lambda for in phase sources so let us relate to this diagram again okay let us relate to here uh, so uh, let's look let us first look at the bright fringe yeah Look at the bright fringe. Uh, uh, let's talk about the path difference equal to zero lambda. Okay, what does it mean? What does it mean? Yeah. So look at here this one. Uh, for the central bright fringe, for the central bright fringe, uh, they both have the same distance, isn't it? From the slit one going to the center here, and slit two going to the center here, they have the same distance. Uh, so. Uh, okay. Uh. Uh, they have the same distance. So they have a uh, zero lambda. We can say the path difference is um, uh, zero lambda. Ah, zero lambda. So uh, that's why uh, they form a bright fringe. Yeah. If you can look, see here. Uh, yeah, both are in phase sources. Uh, both are in phase sources because they both go up. But uh, in the end, they also have the same direction uh, because the path difference is zero lambda. Okay, uh, so they form a constructive uh, interference or bright fringe. Okay, zero lambda. Uh, so if you go one step higher, okay, so for the central bright fringe is a, um, okay, I just, should, just want to highlight this one. Okay, for the central bright fringe, it is a, in the central part is a bright fringe. Okay, the path difference is zero lambda. If you go one step higher, you, do you see that uh, if you go one step higher, like uh, for example this one, okay, like uh, this this one going to here and here. Ah, do you see that? I uh, just want to show you. I uh, mean this uh, this this length, this length and this length. Ah, uh, so for the the next bright fringe, uh, the S one has a uh, shorter distance, but S two has a longer distance. Ah, has a longer distance. Just it's it mean that um uh like like for example like this one uh like this one. Let me show you ah uh, like this one the S one and this is the S two. Ah, understand? Uh, this is the next one. Okay, we know that uh, the center already we have a center. Uh, we have already have a center bright fringe. The next one is the first bright fringe. Okay, the next one is the uh, first bright, uh, first bright fringe. Uh, the the it is um, the difference is uh, one lambda. Okay, the path difference is one lambda. What does it mean? Uh, so here we have the here is the central bright fringe, and then we then we have the first bright fringe over here. First bright fringe. Uh, so why mean why why do you form a first bright fringe there? Because the difference is uh, one lambda. Uh, this one. Understand? Uh, one lambda. Uh, that means the S two, the S two travel a longer distance. 
travel by how long? By one lambda. Ah, by one lambda. So which is mean that um like this. Uh, going down. Uh, this so the, the extra distance is this one. Yeah, this is the extra distance. Uh, this is the extra distance. Uh, by how much? By uh, one lambda. Uh, by one lambda. I should rub off the, the, the rest. Uh, sorry, again. Should draw again. Uh, yeah, this one. Just so I don't, I don't want to confuse you. That's why I uh, drop off the unnecessary things. So I can see that the wave 2 has an extra distance. Uh, this is the extra distance. You see that? Uh, the, the part I highlight. Uh, but extra by how much? The wave 2, extra by how much? By 1 lambda. Uh, by 1 lambda. Uh, understand? By 1 lambda. Uh, that's why it form a bright fringe. Because the path difference is in the form of m lambda. Okay, uh, what, what I told you before, uh, yeah, the, the, the wave 2 extra by 1 lambda, that's why you form a bright fringe. Huh? Uh, which I you already learned before in the previous video. In the previous video, uh, when uh, you see, uh, this is the central bright fringe. Okay, just now, uh, when no when 0 lambda, uh, this, is the, well, this is what we call the, the central uh, bright fringe. Uh, but when moving up, Moving up higher, ah, why, why I'm talking is this one, yeah, yeah. I'm showing you this one over here, okay. Uh, uh, increase by one lambda, okay, because the wave two have to travel extra one lambda, which is this one. Ah, you see this? Uh, the uh, yeah, one of the wave is one lambda longer. See, one lambda longer. In the end, also constructive interference, uh, forming another bright fringe uh, this is what we uh, what this is the this is the uh, first bright fringe you understand that uh, this is the first bright fringe uh, and then uh, travel even higher uh, 2 lambda 3 lambda in the form of m lambda you form a bright fringe uh, which is uh, why I can draw I draw, can draw to you for over here uh, that means if I going up even higher if I going up even higher uh, let's say uh, forming uh, over here. Uh, let's say over here, uh, over here. So uh, the blue one, uh, the blue one uh, is even longer already. You see, even longer. Uh, this one you will have two lambda. Uh, this one you have two lambda. Uh, yeah, I don't know whether you can see or not. Okay, this one form the uh, second bright fringe. Uh, the first bright fringe just now. Yeah, the central bright fringe is because of zero lambda. The first bright fringe is because of difference of 1 lambda. And then this one, second bright fringe is because of 2 lambda. And then 3 lambda, 4 lambda. Yeah? In the, uh, uh, that is what it means by delta L equal to uh, M lambda. You will form a bright fringe. Uh, that's why you can see uh, this thing. Yeah, You can see this thing. Uh, you can see the central bright fringe uh, when 0 lambda. First bright fringe at 1 lambda. Difference by 1 lambda. Second bright fringe at 2 lambda. And then third bright fringe at... 3 lambda and so on. You understand? Uh, that's why you can see bright, bright, bright. Uh, okay? Uh, okay? This is the thing. Lah. Uh, yeah? 1 lambda is actually equivalent to 2 pi radian. Yeah? If you, uh, uh, you know that, yeah? Well, we know that um, um, 1 lambda is actually equivalent to, um, uh, I should just write over here, uh, 2 pi radian actually is equivalent to 1 lambda, isn't it? Uh, one wavelength is uh, two pi radian. Uh, if a uh, pi radian is actually equivalent to half uh, lambda, okay, pi radian, yeah, uh, one hundred eighty degree. Uh, so that's why pi radian equal to half lambda. Two pi radian is actually one lambda. Okay, uh, that is uh, for bright fringe. And now about how about the dark fringe? <coughs> so uh, dark fringe is uh, uh you know uh, over here you see that. Over here, dark fringe is between the central bright fringe and the first bright fringe. Uh, here you form a dark fringe. Uh, here you form a dark fringe. I should uh, use another, maybe I should use another color, maybe a dark fringe, uh, maybe just blue color. Uh, first dark fringe over here. Okay, you should see a dark fringe. Uh, why? Because between 0 and lambda is actually half lambda, isn't it? Because uh, the blue, the, the, it's actually between between the red and the green, so that means it's uh, over here. Uh, it's over here. Uh, it's over here, you see? Uh, so, uh, between the central and the first bright fringe, uh, this is the first dark fringe. First dark fringe. So, of course, 
uh, for for first bread fringe if the path difference is one lambda so for uh, before before the first bread fringe of course it, the path difference is shorter it is shorter so it becomes a uh, half lambda yeah in the middle of it of, in the middle of it of course it is half lambda yeah between what i can say is between the path difference between zero lambda and one lambda uh, in the middle between be, between it is half lambda uh, that's why you form a dark fringe yeah uh, because we have learned ab about uh, uh, if the path difference is m plus half lambda you will get dark fringe uh, we have learned before yeah uh, if for in phase sources for in phase sources uh, if uh, the path difference like you see like you see this one okay uh, if uh, uh, if you see the wave the one of the wave is uh, half lambda longer half lambda longer uh, than the other one than the counterpart so we can say they end up anti-phase you see that they end up anti-phase so they uh, destructive interference um, so they form dark fringe uh, yeah uh, so this is uh, actually this is uh, yeah uh, so uh, half the part the difference between these two waves is half lambda uh, or zero plus half lambda you see that uh, so uh, this is actually the first dark fringe. Uh, what I can say this is the first dark fringe. Uh, first dark fringe. So uh, which is this one? Uh, which is this one? Uh, we see that this one over here. Uh, this this one over here. This one uh, first dark fringe. Uh, uh, which is like this. Yeah. Uh, which is like this. Uh, uh, this is the first dark fringe. What I can say is. Uh, you see the difference yeah the s2 travel longer distance of half lambda uh, you see that over here make a point over here uh, so this is the part you see here this is the part uh, extra by how how much extra by half lambda so the path difference so the path difference delta l is actually uh, half lambda uh, when the yeah both are still in phase sources <coughs> both are still in phase sources because both go up you see that both go up but because of one of the wave is half lambda longer so they end up uh, anti-phase you see that one going up one going down so it formed the first dark fringe uh, it formed the first dark fringe uh, which is um, which is this which is this one uh, which is this one in between the zero lambda and one lambda is the half lambda uh, the first dark fringe uh, yeah divide by two lah uh, see uh, half lambda okay uh, if you move even going up higher okay let's say uh, you go up even higher uh, go up even higher uh, what's the next one what's the next one to form a dark fringe which what is the second dark fringe what do you think about the second dark fringe uh, of course uh, the first one uh, the 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 difference is uh, uh, half lambda okay half lambda the next one should be uh, one plus half lambda isn't it uh, one plus half lambda which is uh, what i already mentioned be in the video before about the path difference uh, the next one this one lah, this one you see if the one the wave is one plus half lambda they end up anti-phase also they end up become destructive interference from a dark fringe uh, this is actually the the second dark fringe uh, the difference of path difference is uh, one plus half lambda you see that uh, and then the next one going up even higher is two plus half lambda three plus half lambda so they generally they form the uh, general equation m plus half lambda the path difference if m plus half lambda you get a dark fringe uh, so which is like this one lah. okay see this one uh, so it can be uh, 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 half lambda one plus half lambda two plus half lambda three plus half lambda and so on is m plus half lambda uh, so the m can be from zero to one two three uh, same as this one this one also m start with zero one two three uh, if zero means the center lah, zero means the center uh, this one zero plus half means next next to the center which is the first dark fringe uh, and then going up even higher uh, is the uh, second dark fringe one plus half lambda because because why because the wave two now have to travel travel even longer distance you see instead of just half lambda become one plus half lambda uh, what i can say like, like over here uh, what i can say um, like you just want to draw like this you see become one plus half uh, i should wrap off the um oh, never mind so can you see that uh, one plus half lambda i should uh, maybe i should wrap off uh 
the yeah the the these parts okay uh yeah so yeah you see that uh one plus half lambda uh this is the extra distance for the second duct fringe you see that one plus half lambda uh over here uh the the, the path difference now is b even bigger the path difference now is even bigger by delta l equal to uh one uh no uh one plus half lambda ah you see that you form a second duct fringe uh, and then going up even higher is a uh, uh, two plus half lambda three plus half lambda uh, all those will form duct fringe okay ah uh, it's not uh, this now i'm just talking about one side yeah only one side you also can go below yeah like like just now this uh, the the black fringe yeah we also can go below like uh, i can also form the First bright fringe below here, yeah, below over here, and also I can form below here, uh, below here, yeah. Uh, this the dark fringe also I can also form below here, yeah. Dark fringe also I can form below here, below here, or even uh, below, yeah, even here below. Uh, so uh, if below, if below, that means the first wave travel even longer. Uh, travel even longer just the opposite like the above so you can see uh, this fringe not just form on one side you see that this fringe they don't just form white dark white dark white uh, just on one side they also form on the other side uh, on the below side because it's the same thing it's the same thing as below uh, if going up going up is a second wave that has the extra distance uh, but if going below, it is the first wave that has the extra distance. So it's the same thing. You see that? Uh, it's just that um, if going below, then uh, the M we substitute with negative value. Uh, negative value. So it's actually more. Um, it's actually better if you write like this. Uh, M actually, M actually is actually zero uh, plus minus one plus minus two uh, plus minus three. That's why we have the plus minus. Uh, so same thing goes to this one lah. Uh, m equal to zero plus minus one uh, plus minus two uh, plus minus three and so on. Okay. Uh, the if you put plus, that means it's the top side. Uh, if the uh, we can say uh, uh, if uh, going uh, over here, yeah, going over. Um, sorry, I should I just draw over here lah. If going up higher, uh, this one is m positive. Uh, if going below. Is all m negative? You understand that? Uh, it's m negative. That's why we have plus minus. Okay. Uh, so I think that's all for first for the in phase. Now look at the second video. I talk about the anti phase sources. Thank you.